Hey, welcome to my plasma system here. I just read something a few days ago and I um, have not forgotten it, but you know, priorities sometimes switch. And it's about KDE, so plasma, and it's about how to get a smartphone connected to KDE. So you see this little icon here that says KDE Connect. Now, before I am gonna show you what I've done on my system, what I have, and what you can have as well, is the Ergonix Nemesis GitHub, right? So github.com slash Eric Dubois slash Ergonix Nemesis. And in here, I have something fun. And it's called SCRCPY, okay? So something like source copy or something. I ran that script and now I can do something like this. So there is this application that's called source copy. Let's call it like that. Daemon started successfully and it says no device or emulators found. All right, so I take my USB cable. I pop it into my system. All these wires. So USB goes in on the front end. It's always easiest, right? And in the bottom, I put plug it in into my Samsung S8. You'll see the name here. It is already Samsung. So if I do again, I'll get this. So you are watching my personal phone. Yeah, privacy zero. So this is what I've got. It's a special kind of icon theme. And the thing is, I can show you guys that um, I can go into the settings and to be able to do this, what I'm doing right now, it's called developer options. And I had to enable, enable USB debugging, right? So look for something similar on your system, being an iOS or any other kind of Android or, or whatever eh, you have as a smartphone. And of course, maybe I should go there as well. Control Alt G, for example. Chrome is installed. No, I probably on GitHub. I don't know anymore. So GitHub S C R C P Y. All right. Yep. Yeah, probably right. So it shows this. This application provides display and control of Android devices connected on USB. It does not require any root access. So that's great and i've used something similar back in the days when i was teaching at university i wanted to explain things to people and say look do this do that do this do that right and then you just slide over it and say okay let's have a look up and i go over all the systems so what i've done that's the source copy thing but the question uh, the person had was did i do something wrong so there is a KDE Connect application and I should probably navigate to that as well or let's go to the Play Store and now we say KDE. There we go. KDE Connect. So this is, comes out as the first one. There are always other ones. Helper for KDE Connect, Zorin Connect, Zorin OS Technologies, right? So Ubuntu Style Launcher, a lot of things in here. But basically, the one I want is KDE Connect. And then they show some information. So look, there's this, there's that. And then you decide to either install it or not install it. So let's leave it on there. And with that application on there, I did a KDE Connect settings, right? So I don't know what kind of uh, settings I followed anymore because it's been there for months never used it but since the user requested something or wanted to know how can i make it work it's possible first of all it's gonna work right now he shouldn't go to sleep he should open right so i can send files that's one thing i can send files over I'm not gonna share all my pictures here but i can slideshow remote kind of things can lock your device and use the volume keys okay next slide so maybe in, in um, school or in, in meetings and all that 
Multimedia Control, yeah, Control Alt S, launches Spotify. I would be able, oh, this, I'm not logged in, as you see, I'm not logged in, but it should be working, uh, play and stop and all that, but don't use it either. And the remote input is possible as well, and, and run command. So not all of uh, these things are interesting, but I suppose sending stuff is more important and, and receiving stuff also. So if you are, if you have an image like um, I don't know, small image picture or something, I I already sent I think Arch Linux Okui. So let's take another one. If you drop it on this particular thing, which is KD Connect, look at that, all kind of things. When I drop it at some place, oh, I hear a noise. What's he saying? Uh, send files, he says. Okay, send files. No, no, no. Receive files is what I want to do. Let's see. Connected to blah, blah, blah. receive file. Ah, oh, here it is. So this is what I've sent from my PC to my mobile, right? So that's Spectre WM and the Arch look anyway. So the look where it's it's all screwed up. <laughs> it's not nice at all. But that's the Arch Linux uh, look of Spectre WM. So it's um, it's working fine, and of course the question is, hey, how, what, to how, right? This is Linux B, right? Linux B. If you work on Arch Linux, if you work on Linux D, it gets more complicated. But online, it just shows Linux B ISO is built with these Lego blocks. Let's have a look. Arclinux B, let's do it alphabetically. It's okay, you can go to sleep. My screen is going dark. So Arcal Plasma, right? Installations, no, this one. This is just a file. You open it up with editor, any editor you like. Whoa, any editor you like. And all the beginning is always the same. It's the bottom that makes it different. The bottom tells I install Mate, I install XFCE, I install Plasma Meta, I install Package Kit, I install, and all these packages is what we want on a Plasma system. You decide otherwise. The question of the user is, what are you using? Why is it not working? The why is it not working is a little bit more difficult, but at least you can have a look at what packages we have installed on our system. And it just, well, you know, the gradual steps and, and connection between, uh, allow connection between the mobile and and, and uh, the desktop and all that. That's the normal thing. By the way, uh, let's open it up again. Whoa, that's shared. Now I can click here as well. So I could actually um, keep working on my system and uh, Corona alert, one of the apps we, we want, right? Like and click on these things and all the apps go open. So it's really is a nice little and uh, change and it's, it's nice, right? So there you go, guys. Here you have uh, something that's interesting. Maybe you can figure it out why it's, it's not working. I always tend to click on the optimize button there, but here it is, you have a connection straight from your Article Linux KDE connects to, in my case, a Samsung device. This is probably something you can Google, but it's a Samsung S8 Plus, I think it's called, or something like that. And, um, well, enjoy Article Linux and enjoy the tools that KDE or Plasma provides you. All right, cheers.